Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is get unpaused time seconds? So get unpaused time seconds is the node we're looking at. It's right here, and it was added in four point fourteen. So you need at least four point fourteen to use it, and it's pretty simple. It's going to give us back a value, a float, which is the amount of seconds since the world is brought up. It is adjusted by time dilation, and it's not stopped when the game pauses. And the output is simply going to be a float, representing those seconds. Remember, we have the ability to pause the game, and we have the ability to change the global time dilation or the local time dilation to give us a faster or slower speed. When we run this example, this is my unpaused time seconds we can see here, and it's going to tick up normally. This is my delta tick, and this is the amount of time in seconds as the time goes on. And since nothing's adjusted, it's basically one second to one second. If I pause it, well, nothing's going to happen. And I unpause it, pause, unpause. It doesn't really matter. The state of the pause does not affect this value. It will continue going. Our time dilation, on the other hand, does affect it. If you notice, I now have a zero time dilation, which basically means things aren't ticking. We're running at 0% speed. We're now no longer increasing our unpaused time seconds. Now, the minute I increase this, it's going to continue up. If you notice, it doesn't just jump forward to whatever the amount of time passed is. It goes up because my time is slowly going up. It continues where it was left off, basically, or where the time dilation went down to zero. And of course, we can adjust it to four, and it's going to go faster. So the unpaused time seconds node is useful if you want to know, basically, based on the speed at which your game is running, how much time has been given to the game paused or not paused. It's useful, for example, if you want to know how much elapsed time since the game has started, maybe for total gameplay time, or how much time it may have taken inside of a dungeon, but you don't want the pause to affect it. You don't want the player to, for example, pause the game and the timer to stop. You want the time to keep going. But you may be using some special effects or some sort of special game effect where time slows down but you don't want that to really affect the player or maybe even allow them to slow down the time which slows down the entire timer for the dungeon so the get unpaused time seconds node would be useful for that and that's it that's going to wrap up the get unpaused time seconds node